I think that I, I think with people like us, there'll always be a foot in the past. I like the quote that I saw on your website that was actually uh, said something along the lines of, "We celebrate the '60s, but we yeah. don't live in it. We're actually really, really lucky in, in that." We've got 50 years, 60 years of, of heritage that we can draw from, and we can pick out the good bits. I hate people who assume, that, you know, and you do get this on a lot of radio shows, that just because something was recorded in the 60s, it's automatically good, which is absolute <laughs> pants. There was some right crap. There was. I'd say probably 70% of the output in the 60s was rubbish. Because by, by, so by the same coming. token, when you listen to oldies radio shows, which now play 80s, mm. they're playing stuff that we would never consider listening to Hell, back in the 80s. The we, shit, right? Probably part of the truth is that one of the, re- the reasons why people like you and I gravitated towards the mod movement was because there was very little presented to us by way of an alternative. You know, if you lived through the 80s, then you know the truth. The 80s was dire. Especially if you lived in the UK, nobody had any work, nobody had any money. Musical output was hideous. You know, you had people like Duran Duran, Spandau Ballet, guys in frilly shirts and eyeliner. I mean, what was going on? 